Hello, greetings, Bidja, Hola, Zdrebst Vlight, Nine Hal, Sal, Konichiwa, Guten Tag, Ola, and Young Haseo, Asalam Alikum, Godag, Shaikamu, Yasas, Zian Dobra, Goddag, and Shalom. How are you doing on this fine day? Obviously you can't answer that. This is pre-recorded message or is it? I don't know nor do I care. I'm just here to spoil some secrets that the Foundation has been hiding. Today we're talking about the O5 command, the head on show at the SCP Foundation, it's like a hierarchy of levels in a way. Now let's tell a tale of the O5 command. The O5 Council, also known as O5 Command, the Overseers, or Overwatch, is the ruling body of the SCP Foundation, consisting of 13 individuals. They are widely regarded, and rightfully so, as among the most powerful, if not the most powerful, and influential individuals on the planet to the point where they could outright alter history itself if they so wished. They keep watch over everything and everyone that has a certain experience in history dealing with anomalous entities and objects. Being the overseers of the Foundation, they have unlimited access to all information about anomalies and Foundation operations. Due to their nature, they can be either allies or antagonists, although they have very questionable morals to the point of outright malevolence, they are mostly regarded as overarching antagonists. As stated before, the O5 Council are the ruling body of the Foundation. They are the people who have ultimate control over the Foundation and all its operations. They are so secretive and unknown that many people, even ones with a high seat in society, dismiss them as a myth much like the Illuminati. The members of the O5 are also unknown as they could be practically anyone, especially those with a high position of power in the world. Each O5 member knows almost everything there is to know about the Foundation and its activities. Between them all, they know every single secret that the Foundation holds. Stanford Pines say that no single paranormal investigator or researcher has even a fraction of the knowledge concerning the extraterrestrial or supernatural that the O5 have. Rick Sanchez calls them the lions above the big dogs, while Stephen Cecil Palmer states that no human should hold as much power as they do. Most Foundation personnel spend their entire careers without seeing them. Members below clearance level 2 do not even know they exist. Most people outside the Foundation have never heard of them, and even dismiss them as being not real at all, mostly as a way to keep people in line out of fear. Even if they are real, Foundation personnel do not even believe that they are human. The only people that have outright physically interacted with the O5 are the 10th and 11th Doctor, and the Lutis twins. While no one knows this for sure, it is purported that the O5 Council is comprised of humans, although, some of them could be humans whilst the rest are not. A minority of the O5 Council may have anomalous abilities or traits, if reports are to be believed, but it is generally believed that none of the O5 Council are reality benders, and most of them are simply human. However, in the Doctor's words they are humans with far, far too much power. The O5S rarely intervene in the day-to-day -day processes of the Foundation, or the containment of SCP objects. They tend to keep an eye on gitter class objects, and practically micromanage thormials. When something piques their interest, they tend to keep watch over it and none is more prominent than that of the mystery kids, and especially the Doctor, of whom the watch over from the shadows. O5 Council members are officially barred from coming into contact with any anomalous entities. This is, naturally, not strictly true in practice. At minimum, all O5 Council members of sufficient tenure have access to a fountain of youth. And that aside, O5s tend to be able to bend rules, even their own rules. Some reports suggest that O5s regularly switch numbers with each other, either ad hoc or on a standardized basis. They make common use of body doubles and other security and disinformation techniques. Appearance. Probably one of the more well-known things about the O5 is their unknown appearance. Due to the fact that it is an extreme rarity to even spot them for a second, no one in or outside the Foundation have any faint idea of what the O5 look like. If the reports are true, then some of them may be human whilst the rest are only partially human and one or two are not even human at all. The people behind everything. O5-1, the founder. O5-2, the gardener. 
O5-3, the kid. O5-4, the ambassador. O5-5, blackbird. O5-6, the American. O5-7, green. O5-8, the lesser. O5-9, the outsider. O5-10, the archivist. O5-11, the mailman. O5-12, the accountant. O5-13, the breaker. The administrator. That is the conclusion of the tale for now. How many times is this, is this thing going to show up?